Hey, what's up? I'm Ben, and today we're going to talk a little bit about selecting a camshaft for your 12 valve. Uh, this is something that I don't know a ton about, but I will tell you that I got it wrong. So anyways, let's get at it. Okay, if you're new to the channel, uh, this is the truck that I'm working on here. I'm doing a full frame off restoration. Uh, frame has been powder coated. It's got ARB air lockers, um, Carly Dominator 3.0 suspension with three inch King shocks, which aren't on right now. Air Dog 150 gallon per hour lift pump. I just got the block back from the machine shop that just got bored out. Got new pistons, rings, main bearings everything like that so uh, anybody who follows this channel um and by the way if you're not following it please subscribe and like the videos and check out some other stuff on the channel but anybody who uh, follows along knows that this has been a bit of an ongoing thing for me um my setup is uh, i have a 96 dodge ram 3500 which is a 12 valve i've got a uh, power driven diesel ultimate towing compound kit and then uh, a whole bunch of other stuff uh, 5x16 injectors, uh, the P-pump is turned up to 460 cc's, as well as just a whole plethora of uh, upgrades uh, sort of from front to back on the truck. So uh, right here, I've got two camshafts. The one closest uh, to the camera is the stock one, and then the one just past that is a Hamilton cams. They called it a daily driver cam. I believe it is 182, 214. When I was looking at uh, which cam I wanted to get, my first instinct was to actually get the uh, hot street cam, I think it was called, from Hamilton. I had actually read that most people uh, get too much cam and actually regret that. So I thought I was being smart and got the daily driver cam. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have since discontinued the cam. If I had to do it again, I would have got the towing cam from Hamilton Cams, um, you know, without even any question in the matter. Possibly if it was a standard or possibly, you know, with a looser torque converter, that this one might be perfect for some people. But for me, I have learned going through this process that I want power right off idle. Okay, so uh, just a quick look at what's going on in this truck. I am currently doing a, a series on YouTube called Build my 12 valve dream truck uh, I rebuilt this transmission uh, and just painted it too so as you can see everything is looking lovely that has got a triple disc uh, DPC torque converter I've got a 650 horse rebuild kit from power driven diesel so anyways uh, I have been mostly setting this truck up for towing uh, the torque converter I'm not exactly sure of the stall speed I rebuilt the transmission myself but I ordered it it was somewhere around maybe 1700 rpm or something like that so possibly if you had a bit looser torque converter that would help uh, off idle response and it is good I mean this thing has compound turbos and stuff and I mean it definitely has good throttle response but I find that for what I do with this truck the power is a lot further up in the rpm band than i would like typically uh, it's a daily driver in a city i go out and play around in the bush and things like that but typically i would like to just hit the throttle and be sucked back in my seat you know i'm i want brisk acceleration up to the speed limit and then uh, you know basically just put her on cruise control and you know drive so anyways i'm going to go back to the stock one today um i just figured i would put this video out there it's a very quick uh little thing but in case some people are new to these sort of trucks like i am or you're just sort of wondering uh you know what direction to go i think you really need to be honest with yourself about what you're going to be doing with it and uh you know if you're going to be doing sled pulling or real high rpm stuff then great you know go for whatever the heck you want but uh, for me like i said it's all about off idle power and so because of that i'm going to go back to the stock one for now it's possible down the road i might try the hamilton cam towing one but i would presume the stop the stock one is probably going to put me right back into the uh, power range that I'm looking for. So this is actually a pretty uh, crazy project that I got on the go. Um, this thing is getting a fairly who's who list of stuff from front to back. It's just unbelievable amount of money thrown at this truck. And I'm really trying to build my version of the ultimate 12 valve. Uh, everybody's uh, idea of that might be different. You know, some people want, you know, triple turbos and 1500 horsepower, but this is the truck that I'm going for for me personally. So anyways, quick little video. Thanks for watching and uh, please like, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.